Good morning, guys. It's Andrea and Penny. She's sucking on some breakfast sausage. <laughs> and uh, it's really rainy out today. It's kind of like a little bit gross, but, you know, we still saw some birds out in the bird feeder. And it's still, like, not too cold. <laughs> I should have referenced that there's that Miss Congeniality meme. Um... So it would have been a few days ago, but um, the judge asks, what's the idea of your perfect date? And she says, April 25th, because it's not too hot, not too cold, and all you need is a light jacket. And that's, that's the weather today. So I'm going to read this really quick. Okay. April 28th. By the way, welcome. Welcome back. Uh, you've been following and if you haven't please like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the updates I've been doing this every day and I really want to complete a whole year of these daily devotionals with you guys <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> oh. so sorry um oof. okay April 28th, and when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer who delivered them, even Othniel, Caleb's younger brother, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. Judges 3, 9 through 10. God is preparing his heroes, and when opportunity comes, he can fit them into their place in a moment, and the world will wonder where they came from. Let the Holy Ghost prepare you, dear friend, for the by the discipline of life, and when the last finishing touch has been given to the marble, it'll be easy for God to put it on the pedestal and fit it into its niche. There is a day coming when, like Othniel, we too shall judge the nations and rule and reign with Christ on the millennial earth. But ere that glorious day can be, we must let God prepare us, as he did Othniel at Kerjeth Sefer. Amid the trials of our present life and the little victories, the significance of which perhaps we little dream, at least let us be sure of this, and if the Holy Ghost has an off kneel ready, the Lord of heaven and earth has a throne prepared for him. A.B. Simpson. Human strength and human greatness spring not from life's sunny side. Heroes must be more than driftwood floating on a waveless tide. Every highway of human life dips in the dale now and then. Every man must go through the tunnel of tribulation before he can travel on the elevated road of triumph. Now, I know personally there was a period in my 20s where I felt pretty lost. You know, I really lost sight of who I was. And um, through that, though, I think I became a much more mature and measured person. There's still part of me that uh, loves a lot, cares a lot, and expects a lot. And so I do think sometimes that passion um, or even disappointment still comes out. But... Um, I, I do think I'm a better person for having gone through some of the things I did in my 20s. Um, and I, I really do think that instead of always, <laughs> you finished your sausage. Yummy. Mm. Mama, let's clean your face off. And I got to clean my hand off. Um, I got like, like some stuff in my eye this morning too. I think just allergies. Um, hmm. Um, I, I don't know what that's like for you guys, but I, I really hope that when times are tough, you remember that it is molding you, that it's shaping you into a better person and it's preparing you for that elevated road to triumph. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Can you say bye, Penny? Yeah, goodbye. It's the, almost the end of the month. Isn't that wild? That's right. Oh my gosh. I really appreciate you guys saying that she's cute. I think she's the cutest. Yeah, honey. I can't wait to watch these back with you one day. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.